Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition. This is for Friday, June 26th. I'm James Spann. Alabama's weather for the weekend will stay warm, humid, dusty. The chance of a few scattered showers and storms around. Let's go right to the upper air look today. The trough that's been overhead has been lifting out. And we have a ridge building across the deep south. There's the visible satellite view. The sky is mostly cloudy across the state, although there are some breaks in the cloud cover. And on top of the clouds, we have the SAL, Saharan Air Layer, the African dust we've talked about for a while. This is something that happens every year, and that's in place across the deep south. It'll stay for a couple of days. And again, uh, the main advantage, the great sunrises and sunsets we have seen, and also keeps hurricanes from forming down in the Gulf of Mexico, but it will affect air quality to some degree. We've got a, a code orange expected for Birmingham tomorrow. That's because of the uh, dust, and that means the air could be unhealthy for sensitive groups, people with certain types of ailments. The general public won't be affected by that. Here's the radar at 226, mostly light rain uh, today across the state, mainly over parts of north and west Alabama. And again, temperatures way below average. Look at Coleman, 68, Birmingham at 78. We've got low 80s for Tuscaloosa and Centerville. We should be back in the 80s, mid to upper 80s tomorrow and Sunday with a bit more sunshine, we believe. And around the nation, you can see that pocket of cooler air down here in the deep south because of the clouds. Most locations with highs in the 80s across the country today. Got a severe thunderstorm watch for places like Chicago and Milwaukee up north, also for eastern Colorado. We have heat advisories for parts of California and Florida. An enhanced risk of severe storms around Chicago, Milwaukee, over to Grand Rapids. Now, the main threat there coming from strong straight-line winds. The broader risk goes down across the Great Plains. Tomorrow, a risk from the plains over to the upper Atlantic coast, including a standard risk for New York City and Philadelphia. And down here, much of Alabama in a marginal risk of severe storms. Uh, we think the uh, amount of sun will increase tomorrow, making the air more unstable. And with a weak short wave coming along and a pocket of colder air aloft, that might bring a few storms with strong winds and small hail. Then on day three, which is Sunday, there's a marginal risk for parts of the northeast United States and also parts of the western high plains. This is the rain for the next seven days. The west is fairly dry. For Alabama, the amount's around one inch, and of course, uh, your number is going to vary because of the scattered, random nature of the showers and storms this time of the year. And the tropics, softly quiet with all that dry air. So, model fans, let's go. Here's the GFS. This is the 12Z run, valid tomorrow at 4. The westerlies up north, a little wave coming through, and again, that might squeeze out some afternoon storms. Now, the synoptic scale model here, the GFS not showing much, and quite frankly, the high-resolution NAM not showing much. This is tomorrow at 5, but the air should be pretty unstable. This is the forecast instability, and you can see the values exceed 3,000 joules per kilogram in parts of West Alabama. So if storms can form, they could be strong, maybe small hail and gusty winds, but it's certainly not going to rain all day, and it's not going to rain everywhere. This is Sunday, warm, humid, a few scattered showers and storms. We'll be close to 90, we think, Sunday afternoon as heat levels come back up. And then next week, it's your standard summer formula. Partly sunny, very warm, very humid, a few scattered storms. Again, this is Monday. There's Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Just not a lot of change. Highs every day, most likely between 87 and 90. And a week from today, Friday, July 3rd, kicking off the Independence Day weekend, Got an upper high that's over New Mexico. And for us, heights about where they should be. And again, standard stuff. Partly sunny, a few pop-up showers and storms. We'll go out 10 days. This is Monday, the 6th of July. Again, a little weakness here and same old routine. Warm, muggy, a few scattered storms. Here's the rain for Birmingham off the GFS Ensemble. The mean, about 3 inches for the next 15 days. Highs coming off the national blend of models, most days between 87 and 90 through the 6th of July. 
And the brand new CPC Outlook. This is for July 4th through July 10th. Nice to see the shades of blue. That means temperatures here, temperatures here could be a little below average, and we'll sure take that. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes on the blog. My next video here by 7 o'clock Monday morning. You can catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend, and God bless. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort.